What are we talking about? Um, little uh, uh, Butter Boy at Littlefield. That's a show. Yeah. yeah. How was it? It was okay. You look good. But it didn't, what it didn't motivate Jesus me to. Christ. It didn't motivate me to want to do stand up. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that should be every other show. You just want to kill yourself and stop yeah. all this bullshit. Yeah. It didn't Start motivate you or it did? Company. It didn't. I was like, I don't have any desire to. I don't have anything yeah. to talk about. Mm-hmm. Dude. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, podcasting. I like. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. I, no, podcasting is fine, dude. Podcasting is, sucks. I mean, it's great. No, but yeah, like, but, but stand up is just so underwhelming. I feel. Yeah. Like. Are we recording? Yeah. yeah. We are, huh? <laughs> and you got the videos yeah, going. Yeah, just yeah. like you're that, you know, that yeah. show. I can't take this. Shit. I can't take this hoodie off because I'm wearing a tank top underneath. Of course you are. Dude, rock the tank. Yeah, take it. Take your fucking. Yeah. Take, yeah. Take those eight tits out. <laughs> I know. I do have eight Do kids. you and your wife take turns? Huh? Milking that yes. cherub of a child of yours? <laughs> I don't yeah, really. Dude. You know, when I stand up straight, it looks fine. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you look great. I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, you're I, a, you're I, a thick, you media time. Yeah. Yeah. You could do anything as a yeah. wop. Yeah. 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 You're a jack of all trades visually. Mm-hmm. Those are you know huge. I mean? Those mm-hmm. are ripped pecs waiting to be born. 100%. I could probably I could probably infiltrate the mafia. Well, let's to. start. <laughs> let's, I was gonna start a lot lower, Mike. Uh-huh. I'll like yeah. fix my toilet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's how you start. Yeah, you get rid of a different, different, different type of filtration. Feet, bulbous yeah. base. Mm-hmm. Things like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Help me move my fridge. Yeah. And then you work your way up. Mm-hmm. You know, you're an assistant to an accountant. Yeah. That's real fucking shady. Hiding mm-hmm. things in the books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's where things go. Yeah. Uh, uphill for you. Yeah. After I've never that. really done that. I've never really done it before. Yeah. I've just made all of my income on Venmo and not file taxes. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's what I, I know. This guy's fear of our taxes is outrageous. Dude, I'm terrified. I'm living fucking yeah. paycheck to paycheck even though we're making money because yeah. this guy's fear of taxes. Yeah. I'm terrified. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's coming. Right. It's, it's breathing like, down our Imagine necks. this guy's yeah. in charge of my money. <laughs> well, but it's <laughs> like this your is money. This guy's handling my fucking money. But your money's so inconsistent. So it's like you get, if you get like, you know, 300 bucks here or whatever, it's 500 bucks here, you're like, oh, great. This is all for me. Yeah. I, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But we're, no, we're getting we're getting we're getting good money and then we get like ad money we get stuff we we have yeah. a, a pretty consistent ad stream uh-huh. and income stream where do you find the advertisers they, they find you they find us i oh, walk good. around the street in a tank top yeah 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 i just yodel in italian mm-hmm. and they come by how's okay. business uh, bus- yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look what, like someone you're gonna get out there you, yeah. what ads do you have Right now? Is this yeah. a great ad for you? Yeah, well, yeah, I should yeah. start it right should fucking we, yeah, now. Yeah, should we do it? Well, this is one. Well, they don't want it too early. Mm-hmm. They don't want it too late. Yeah, we have to, yeah. have to interrupt the podcast right, right, right. at some point and do a... God damn uh, right. and do I'd, like to, I'd like to make it organic like that because he's genuinely asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks corny as fuck. Uh, we, we got a uh, disc plate today. We also have Manscaped. Disc plate? Disc plate. What's a plate? We'll get You're to it. you plates? Manscaped. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's really funny. Sheath underwear. Paper plates. Okay. Um... For the people, for the unhoused, Express VPN. With them. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a couple. Well, of don't those. give them all. Yeah, we'll send them a bill for the read. There's, that well, you still paying. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, there's, there's no read. There's like six or seven. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I never nice. thought I'd be doing that shit, but like you yeah. have to. Yeah. I know it is a little undignified. Yeah, in a well, way. Well, sheath underwear is could, fine. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the other ones. <laughs> I would fuck with sheath underwear. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing like having a lady sleep over and you whip out like a pair of wild sheath underwear. Yeah. yeah. I got one pair that's like gold trim yep. in the yeah. band and there's yeah. like hearts wearing sunglasses. I, yeah, but I, I have one that's fan. like Hunter's camo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're, they're fucking young. <laughs> they're like, they're two inches. But that's underwear. a weenie bikini on a gay beach. <laughs> Sheath underwear is kind of cool, but I never, I've never used it the way it's supposed to be used because I always forget I'm wearing sheath underwear. Yeah. But like the idea of sheath underwear, the is nookies you and, your, the, and the and the and the peen. Yeah, you put your you yeah. put your balls in the little yeah yeah yeah. Holder, There's a front door and a back, and then door. you just open the thing. Yeah yeah. You just open yeah, it up. It's a vent. Yeah, yeah it's a it's vent. It's a vent for your peck. But I never. Who remembers that they're wearing sheath underwear? I, I don't never. know, man. But apparently, it's it's. <laughs> I go over the fence I, every but, time. But I do like I like the un. <laughs> I do like, it's like the me in college. Yeah yeah. I do like the underwear. But I've never been like, I've never had to piss and be like, oh, good, I'm wearing sheath underwear. No. Yeah. I just like it late window. in the day when your balls have been off your grundle for a while. No, yeah. don't start with this shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't. Start with the He's, shit. What? What? Uh, yeah. Tommy's balls don't touch his grundle somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah. How is that possible? Do uh, mine touch? I don't know. If high intense do. nuts? What do you mean you don't know if they my touch? My nuts are Where just are they as, right well, now? The, the, the grundle's <laughs> in the be- behind your nuts. Yeah. They don't touch but when you're sitting? Of yeah. course. That's what I'm saying. He's got long nuts. He's got horse nuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't yeah. think so. Uh, I you think I got, yeah, of course you don't. I think I got a regular. Wants to think I, they're normal. I got a regular bag, dude. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. For your size, that's a big old bag. Chris has like the baby balls that oh haven't uh, yeah dropped yet. Once you <laughs> or once no, you you have yeah, yes. Balls. Once yes. you goop in somebody, you're gonna have like triplets. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind mm-hmm. of horse buckets. Dude, you I've got been going. firing. I've been firing ropes. I lately. bet. Let's yeah. chill. <laughs> Michael, you still doing? Uh, That's great. You still doing? I'm gonna sweat through this whole episode. Yeah, it's this hot is out, huh? uh, this is insanely hot for this time of year. Yeah, day. yeah, it is. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. We'll just keep sweating, staring yeah, at each yeah, other. Yeah. I liked it. I was ready for like just overcast, shitty fall to kind of like set in, like yeah. almost winter. Mm-hmm. I was like. Those past couple of days, embraced yeah. for it, and then it th- got then it got foggy. Do you think like yeah. it, like Irish people in general? Like, do you get like is it like an internal mechanism that gets you all excited when it's bog weather? There is, there must be because I fucking love the rain, dude. Yeah. I love the, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. When it's like I got, I love a good downpour. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I've this, always said the uh, the sun is God's lighting. Right? Chris so is like, like a yeah. goth kid. Yeah. <laughs> but the weather matches mine. One hundred percent, dude. On the inside. It's all no, it's like it feels like it's like a nice blanket over mm-hmm. you. You know, mm-hmm. it's like uh, yeah. Everybody's ugly. You know, I just bought a raincoat for like the first time in like five years. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally have a raincoat. What are you dude, been doing? Po- umbrella? I just been wearing. Yeah, I just you know, yeah, you umbrella. Just get wet. Like my one jacket that serves as a raincoat, but yeah. I have like actual raincoat. And uh, yeah, it's nice. I think I like the rain now. Me yeah. too. You got to take care of yourself. <laughs> you do. You got to go spend thirty bucks at REI. Dude, I'm not yeah. kidding you when I say this. Hey, Michael Shane, what's so, up? Does he live here? He, yeah, he lives upstairs. Oh, okay. You looking for your hat? No. Sorry. It took forty fucking years. Forty, yeah, yeah around forty years to get a proper winter coat that mm-hmm. would protect me from all the elements. I yeah. mean, like wind, yeah, rain, What'd hail. Like I got a. Uh, I think a Banana Republic, like a okay. classic one that you yeah. can't really tell, and it's because I got like a puffy. I got like a big puffy coat a few years ago. Oh yeah, and then my wife like hated it. Yeah, she would bitch about it. Well, you gotta have <laughs> a basketball on the side of your arm. <laughs> what like? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like fucking it's Costanza. Like, it's like a coat that you get killed. With. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Feathers fly out. <laughs> 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 shot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what they're not real goose like, feathers. Yeah. Everyone who got killed by the Bloods was wearing that. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a wild choice. Because I also like, yeah. like, I like the way Japanese uh, uh-huh. dress. But it's nice that, to wear it. Like yeah. a weird Asian, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, they have like deep, the big puffy. long puffy coats that are like very stylistic. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting. But you can't are pull you it a pe- off. You look like you might be a peacoat guy. I fuck with a peacoat hard. Yeah. I had a peacoat. They're from, not as warm though. No, it's all. It's, it's, yeah. Look, I'm fashion over function. What are we talking? Yeah. I'd rather rip a hole in the fucking front of my foot wearing a yeah. shoe that I enjoy rather than something that's comfortable yeah, and yeah. form fitting. Yeah. And see, I'm all That's for lesbians and old men. Uh-huh. Yeah, like your fashion, comfort. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna ruin my soles. Yeah, on a shoe that shouldn't even fit. Mm-hmm. Nor is Dude. it the right time for the season. I'm gonna get back to this. Mm-hmm. I, I got, a, I got a new winter coat. I got a rain jacket, and I have rainproof shoes oh, from yeah? Sorrel that I've never had before. You can wear in light rain spring uh-huh. or light snow winter. Okay, you like them? Game changer. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Game changer. See, I just kind of wear the sneakers. And I'm just careful around the puddles. Me too, but it, you really, you, you, you have to like it. navigate this umbrella. Mm-hmm. You have to watch where the rain's coming, and then yeah. I would just I get soaked here to to you know because then it just becomes a wet sponge. Yeah, and the way I walk, like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like if if the if the <laughs> the floor of the world is wet, like well, your my ass, toe my toes get soaked. Your yeah. ass protects the heels, and your balls protect <laughs> the toes. <laughs> But, but if you, you see a natural woman, awnings, <laughs> if you see sides, a girl with like high on. rain boots, that's like a little crazy. I yeah, think. that's crazy. Yeah. And when they wear it, when like the day after they, it's all, yeah. that's all, that's all look at me kind of bullshit. Yeah, the yeah. thing that drives me like a crazy is with, if you're walking outside with a woman and they do have the right jacket on, but they don't zip it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're just, and they're like, I'm cold. I'm freezing. It's like fucking yeah. use the jacket. <laughs> he drives by in a car. He's like, zip up your jacket. <laughs> yeah. <warm." dude. laughs> I gotta, I, I gotta I'll say it. I'll say it to people on the street. Change what your Ch- shirt? Oh, you're sweating. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're it's wearing hot, like warm. a Native American rug. See, I didn't think. I was like, I'll wear the hoodie. The hoodie looks good on the podcast. Yeah, right? yeah. But I'm sweating. I, damn. I, maybe we should have put the AC That's on. Should okay. we close the door nah, and go okay. AC? No, I might put the hoodie back on. Dude, I I I feel you. With are you self conscious about your body at all? Yeah. 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 What are you self conscious about? Uh, I just feel like I got kind of a weird shape. I got a little bit of a midget mm-hmm. body. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like if I'm if I'm two or three inches shorter, like people would be like, "That's the tallest midget I've ever yeah, seen." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like he's definitely got genetic like dwarfism or mm-hmm. whatever in mm-hmm. his genes. He mm-hmm. just he right. like he fought past it somehow. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I'm worried that I have like a fupa. Like I, I've, I'm sometimes I look at a photo of myself and I'll be like, I don't have like a fupa, do I? Because I, you worry that you have like the, like the fat, yeah. you know, crotch area. Yeah. <laughs> like, like your pants are really tight. You have yeah. the fat crotch. That little like, globe down there. Yeah. yeah. Well, even if you, yeah. even if you're in shape, and you just release the tension, know. yeah, of your core, your uh, organs are pushing out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to have a full belly or uh, you know a, uh, a lot of intestine. It's yeah. just gonna push. Yeah. So then you look at yourself from the side. If you got a, I got a bean waist. I got uh-huh. a 38, it's uh-huh. a 30, 30 waist. Dude, yeah, my, my tiny little waist. waist. My ex used 30. to say that to me, like, like after if she came to watch me like perform on a show or something, she'd be like, "Are you like intentionally sticking your belly out?" Uh huh. Yeah. Be like, "No, what are you talking yeah. about?" Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd see photos, thought. and it would just like yeah. Yeah. the shirt just pulls forward a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You can't Fuck. help just it. Have a yeah. dwarf. You gotta <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I'm just a midget. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Shout out to, uh, I guess, what do you call them? Small people. Yeah. yeah. Dwarves, little people. Yeah. Yeah. Is Good dwarf dwarfs okay, right? Dwar- no, I don't think so anymore. No? No. I thought that's what it is. I thought the disorder is dwar- I have dwarfism. Dwarfism. Yeah. 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 But you got to change everything. Yeah. Yeah. We're not Italians anymore. You can no. still call We're tall people ethnically giants. Ethnically ambiguous. Ethnic, yeah. 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 <laughs> ethnically challenged. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking for jobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, dude, started. you're fucking... It, like there were so many comics in the in the moving industry, mm-hmm. and I was always thank God I didn't come to New York when I started because mm-hmm. I was poor as fuck, uh-huh. and I worked hard to like figure out a way to make money. I yeah. would have been a mover. Nice. Yeah, I'll be doing it for the rest of my life. I think. Yeah, do you feel <laughs> yeah, like I've kind of like resigned myself to that because you love it. Well, yeah, I kind of love it. Yeah, I hate sitting in traffic. Yeah, but I like I like you know meeting the customer. You know, moving, starting to move the stuff. Really? Yeah, I like you know packing the truck. Good, but I don't like picking up the truck and returning it because you sit in traffic. Yeah, yeah. can we call you when yeah. we return this piece of shit? Yeah, couch? of course. Yeah, and I you'll do. You'll come and take it. You see, what do you put? Do you, like a. Uh, where's it going? It's like uh, all. Where's it going? On it's the curb. Ripped. It'll be gone in ten seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I take, you want me to put I take, the couch I, on the curb? I purge all my shoes and shit. I could probably do that myself. I'm not to t- suck my own dick here, but I could probably get that couch <laughs> That's what out I was getting at, man. I want myself, you to show off. Yeah. Without me. scratching the walls? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Really? Also, yeah. you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Yeah, yeah we got display all over the walls. <laughs> That's actually protection. a good idea yeah, for yeah. protection. It's metal reinforcement. How do you, like, what, like, if you meet some dude who's, who's moving with you, and you're like, this guy sucks. Um, no, not really. Most people you can, you can get like a good performance out of them if you motivate them the right way. Do you ever get someone trying yeah. to fuck you? Like always like Never. making you go back down oh. the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I thought you meant like a client. No, no a lot of guys, like some guys like get hit on. That's like never happened to me. Really? Yeah. But I've been with, have my you heard stories once. about somebody getting fucked? Uh, no, but you know, guys will get like a phone number or something. Really? Uh, yeah. No blowjobs. Um, no, I don't think so. That would violate the the code I yeah, think no shit. yeah nobody gives a fuck about that no if but she's I'm saying hungry, like I've heard stories of girls <laughs> the movers like, code is no blowjobs <laughs> yeah no blowjobs from clients <laughs> no getting your dick sucked <laughs> yeah. on the job yeah, yeah. yeah. rule yeah. number one respect like, each other <laughs> <laughs> well it's kind of like you're you're in a you know the, your client's in like kind of a vulnerable position because she's like moving she needs somebody oh to, right you know, she's so emotionally like, distraught yeah because she's shifting her her location yeah Right, so her so heart and her mind kinda, are in a different place, so therefore you'd be violating her vagina. You can get, yeah, I mean, you can get like a phone number or something. Right, whichever right, whichever. and then let her make the decision afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, you said you were, you've heard stories of... Oh, yeah, like fucking... I don't think they respect you in that way, though. Who, me? No, I don't think clients respect you. Where like where they're like oh I'm gonna fuck this guy who's moving my couch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're like thank they go thank you they pr- and they feel I know, bad for you a little bit. I know, but what I'm saying is there is a and percentage. they go I can't believe that guy has a kid. <laughs> like, this is how he makes a living. <laughs> Jeez. But there's a percentage of the populace, regardless of what you think, there has to be that that's their thing. Yeah. And I've heard of women like you know change. My, there's something wrong with my router. Mm-hmm. They yeah. send a Verizon guy out, and mm-hmm. if he's half decent, he's, he's got two arms, two legs. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, decent yeah. size. He's like, ah, it's going to take a while to fix this. Maybe we grab some lunch or something. Yeah, no, or no, yeah. no. What I'm saying is that in, <laughs> she's in a robe and she's like, yeah. I'm going to tell you exactly what I want out of this. Mm-hmm. I want you to rearrange my organs, not my router. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. And I've, I've heard about it happen from somebody I know. Yeah. I guess mm-hmm. guys can There's do that. maniac wives that are just like wives? I'm hungry. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you think my wife hasn't paid doing... atten- attention to me since, uh-huh. le- since his fucking dark league started. Yeah. Come bop me around my couch you think that's what my wife is doing how long are you gone yeah not that long 
Yeah, you're fine. A couple yeah. days at a yeah. time. Yeah. Your kid is a beaut, man. Thanks. Do you have a ring camera yeah. on the fr- on the front of the house? Make um, sure. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, it's coming and on going. her forehead. <laughs> in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> you just tape a ring. <laughs> in the back of her throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then it becomes your thing. You're yeah. like, look, I know this is weird. Mm-hmm. I need to see. Honey, the what are you doing? Yeah. You're like, I'm just watching history documentaries. <laughs> but you're watching the throat cam. Just, yeah. <laughs> just watching... her blowing an Amazon guy. Yeah. Do you ever? Do you just share? Do you hours. share your location? Uh, uh, I don't. It's never really come up. I yeah. only had one yeah. maniac that did that. Yeah. That's a very bad. What time. they want? Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Where Someone. You are. Someone, where yeah. are you? Yeah. I don't trust you. Yeah. That's a bad sign. Yeah. Yeah. That's. It's over. Yeah. As soon as that share share your location thing. Well, happens. you don't want to know where your where your, where your wife is all the time. You well, know? you shouldn't. Yeah. Also, like that, you should have an independence. It's like yeah, you shouldn't be with somebody if, if you're constantly doing that shit anyway. Yeah. So like, but once that gets bleed, you know, bleeds yeah. into your skull. Yeah. There's no success going. I'm forward. not saying she should cheat on me, but I'm saying like she should be able to like have dinner with a girlfriend every once a, like once a month where they where they talk about how awful my dick is. hundred <laughs> percent. Her and her best friend just go out to dinner yeah. and they only talk about yeah. Why wouldn't my, you want that, dude? That's my, a balance of life. My shitty dick. Yeah. Talk about your weird bird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you ever you ever fucking and you're, you're like lady the waiter the waiter's like ladies she's like oh wait by the way look at this look at my husband's yeah. dick <laughs> yeah we're not ready to order yet we're still yeah. looking at my husband's bird <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's part that's it's got to be you know you don't you don't you don't you don't talk bad on your wife in front of friends no I don't on podcasts I do <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it's not real yeah and that's the thing yeah you know it's yeah. like uh, uh, women have to get it all out to themselves but like. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all fucking... Have you ever been fucking and you, like, uh, in the middle of a really... Like, you just realize this, this is going to be a bad performance. And you're just like... Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I've, been, I've gotten caught in my head just been, like... Ten minutes of fucking just being like... Mm. This is not good. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to... Br- I can't turn this thing around. I like st- the opening... You know, yeah. it's like it's like a, it's bad, like a bad set. set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just yeah. like, I kind of, yeah, I fended them up front. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, to, yeah. trying to dig, you dig myself some, out. You said something yeah. about Scranton that they, you thought they would think was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but they're actually really sensitive yeah. about it. You do your closer in the middle, she's still not liking it. You're like, well, I'm yeah. 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 Can't do crowd work. She's not listening. What else is going on? Yeah. 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 <laughs> How long are you staying? Yeah. <laughs> you like coffee shops? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good barista. Can we? Can I come back out here? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, What's yeah. your name? Yeah. Yeah. Can we go let's, back to Applebee's? Let's bring the host back out. <laughs> yeah. It's just a guy moving the couch. I'm like, look, yeah. he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be different this time. Oh no, but that's a you gotta you gotta flip around. You gotta like mm-hmm. that's the beauty of of oral. We were world, just talking yeah. about that. It's a nice little backup. Yeah. It's a nice we little ace up your sleeve. This. Yeah. 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 The, the Joe Pesci uh, CK story mm-hmm. of like CK trying to hire him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And Joe Pesci saying that you like it's fucking gay to eat pussy. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what kind of man yeah, would that's disgusting. go down on a woman? What kind of respecting man? Yeah. Self-respecting, <laughs> Self-respecting man. man. Yeah, <laughs> she'll lose respect for you <laughs> if you do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you'll never be a man in her eyes again. So he cl- I, apparently he just didn't take the role. Yeah, because uh-huh. he was so offended by, <laughs> by his opinion of going down on a woman. Yeah, by I'm, t- I'm Louis, not kidding wait, you. That's like my opinion. favorite. But that's thing your reset. Do. That's your reset. Like hundred percent. Okay. If you're mm. if anything's off, if you feel the timing's off, right? Bop right. That's the shaking down the there. sketch. <laughs> yep. Yep. You grab the your umbrella. You get your rain boots on. You go eat pussy <laughs> for twenty five minutes. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes she doesn't want that's me a, to. That's a walk around the block for you? 100%. Yeah. Sometimes she doesn't want me to do it. Yeah, well, Mike, you got to get better at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why? Because it's like she's been walking she's like, all day she's like, she's like, ah, no, it's fine. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true marriage. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, stop. Yeah. yeah. So you just get the the big fucking stop sign here I just, and there. Yeah. 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 I just nod early try? and then we yeah. go wake our kid up or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just go to the park. <laughs> yeah. And then you just eat ice cream, That's staring funny. at your kid, going "fuck." Yeah. That's funny. You never think as a kid how many times like your parents coming in and saying hello to you it was just they had a bad <laughs> session. <laughs> Damn. They, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Man, nobody yeah. came, and they were just like, Come on, ah. "Let's go see a movie." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. yeah. Dude, right. let's see what Chris is let's up. Let's go to the water park. Yeah. Like you never asked me to go to the water your dad, park. Your dad's in the garage, like, "Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck." <laughs> I can't do anything yeah. right. 
<laughs> punching the garage walls. I can't eat pussy. My fucking kid hates me, and I can't eat pussy. <laughs> I, can't, I can't eat pussy. Now I gotta go to Wildwood, New Jersey for a water park trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I uh, one time. You ever go to the Poconos? You ever go to Bush of course. Kill? You ever go to Bush Kill Falls? Yes, I have. So when I my dad took, well, he took us there. Like when we were, you know, I was in middle school. I was twelve, and I was like Where'd a pretty fat. Up? Jersey, yeah, where at? Uh, like near near Trenton, mm. I guess between Prince and. Oh, Trenton. so Poconos are reasonable for yeah, like two yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we went to Bushkill Falls, and like my dad was trying to my dad tried to like tell the lady that I was under ten. I was like a fat twelve. I was like a big fat twelve year old. Yeah, and he's like, no, he's a uh, yeah no, and and the lady's like, I think he's uh I think he's over ten, and my dad's like, no, he's not over ten. He's just a really big boy. <laughs> and then the lady's like, he's over ten, and my dad like storms off, and he's like fucking woman my tax money probably pays for this shit <laughs> <laughs> dude the poconos which so you didn't get to go on the ride no we did but then we like re- we like went back in <laughs> you like, wait right, till they change the, shifts yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. now he's 10 ticket. now yeah poconos was yeah that's we, we went every year yeah it's so fun like the first five years of my life we went to the shore with it yeah uh, it's way better than like the hamptons or anywhere else oh that you God. would that's you know comparable yeah, yeah. You, you, you play more. video games in a fucking laundromat yeah but as a kid, you're like, this is, there's so Amazing. many things to do. Yeah. yeah. But there's nothing to do when you get older. You're like, you go back to, oh, really? like, we rented the same cottage. Yeah. <clears throat> Lake Wall and Paul Pack. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we had the same, we had the same cabin. What? It's called Wall I know, I know. This is such a funny name. It's hilarious. Yeah. Especially having like a Delco accent. <laughs> I used to be like, yeah, Lake Wall and Paul Pack. <laughs> so it's a horrendous. It's like, yeah. Uh, Moses Malone is my favorite hometown. And the fact hero. that armies of you guys just invade that town oh, in the summer. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, can you imagine? The Lake Wall and Paul Pack just becomes a fucking <laughs> hell. <hellhole. laughs> It's the Hamptons, yeah. but like a fucking surge of alcoholics and fucking <laughs> union workers. I'm like, yeah, this is a beautiful Domestic place abuse to goes up 60%. They give you a boat. Wall Paul yeah, pack? we drove a speedboat recently. That was fun. An was actual me and my wife boat. a couple years ago. Yeah, sick. Yeah, is that how she got pregnant? Bucks. She was like, "This dude gets." Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. No, well, hundred no bucks. Condom you just tonight. took it out for like a spin, for like an it? hour. Yeah, hour or two. That's pretty good. Yeah, Damn, you're cool. gonna get him going. Oh yeah, yeah dude, love speedboats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like a uh, like a proper cigarette boat? One of those motherfuckers? Mm. No, What's just that? a power boat. Cigarette boats are those ones that are like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. and they've no. got like those fucking eighties like sw- yeah. swiggles. Just on the a side. bunch of dildos oh, okay. and helmets. Like, yeah. 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 Not why do they call them fun. cigarette boats? Because uh, they're shaped like a cigarette, I, think, I guess. Yeah. Long, oh, long okay. and white, slender. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they're fucking. They got they got rocket ship colors. Yeah, they've, they've they're wild. They've changed color. They got wild. They've, they've added colors. They've it's added a boat. A couple on more colorways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's literally a boat on cocaine. It's everything you want. That's what the fucking guys used to beat the cops. Hmm. Yeah, the fucking you know, the cha chas in fucking Miami. Yeah, dude, mm-hmm. my, they jump on a speedboat, a cigarette cool. boat, yeah. and they whop around. Yeah, it, but then and, and then the the, the, the sky cops mm-hmm. chase them. Yeah, and they'll stop them. Yeah, that's got to be one of the most fucking you like fun that documentary things in the world. I didn't see it. What is it? No, okay. it's just like the way I, I told it. It was pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it has it's to be one safe. of the most fucking mm-hmm. fun things in the world. Chasing chasing drug runners. Yeah, on a helicopter. In a helicopter on a boat. Yeah, because the fucking boats they give the like. Yeah, it must be so cool to be a cop. They are badass. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just awesome. a cop in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah, rules. But a cop on the high seas. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally you're like chasing pirates. And a shit. coast guard. They probably yeah. have a fucking gun in the front. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, they do, and they fucking they leech them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they uh, the, when they drop off all these, uh, you know, there's like beaches where people like, you know, obviously there's like kilos that just wash ashore. Yeah, yeah. Every like big storm, it'll just churn up these old fucking kilos that were dropped off in old chases. Hmm. <clears throat> He's got some, you know, some Betty and John. Mm. Holding hands, mm. picking up seashells, mm. coming across a giant fucking batch of coke. I guess a lot of people do cocaine, huh? It's like it's pretty popular. Cocaine rules, dude. Yeah, yeah. Also, can you imagine? People, three people died over the weekend though from like a delivery service. Really? Yeah. Oh, what fentanyl? Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. Holy shit! I kind of can't believe who's so... using a delivery service. Like, com- are you talking about like comics or people? No, it's, no, just people. Oh, just people. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. that's happened. Yeah, every day. Yeah. It's got, crazy though. Yeah, it's crazy. Aren't you, you afraid? Are you afraid of uh, that happening? No, I let everybody sniff it first. Yeah. I stare at them for a while. Okay. See them circle. See if they they get shifty in their. It legs. is fun. I've only yeah. I've done it twice in my life, and it was it was fun. Yeah, you seem yeah, like it's you, okay. You seem like you'd be great at it. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got an attitude to, to really latch on to a cocaine. I am kind of surprised it's so popular, though. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Have I, you I'm done like, it? Yeah. It yeah. Just, yeah. And it's like, it's fun, but like, I don't know. I, it's kind of, yeah. I'm getting upset. Really? I wish I could only do cocaine. Really? Yeah. Dude. If I was in the 80s. Don't you wish there was a better delivery system? Yeah. The nose, up the nose. Sucks. Well, you could throw it in your ass. <laughs> yeah. Throw you it know, in your ass. Do you know, I've done saline before. You put it in a... You get, you get across the room and someone just yeah winds up to yeah. the four scene. <laughs> crow hops <laughs> an eight ball in your asshole. <laughs> How do you get it up your asshole? You, somebody blows it up your asshole? Yeah. 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 I've never done it. I've done it to somebody, though. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. It's pretty fun. And were they hot. like, whoa. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, because the blood vessel and the way it absorbs into the body. So you put it in body. your mouth and you blow I've it? I've done that, too. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you just take a straw. A straw. Yeah. You load the front. Mm-hmm. And it's the same kind of right rush? Right in the corn it's the same kind of rush. It's not like, yeah, doesn't no, take amazing. a while to it's like. a lot faster. Really? Yeah, yeah. And this is the fastest, the shortest time, right? Yeah, to your yeah, fucking, right to your skull. Right to your glow. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. I, I'm I mean, fucking water right so now. So it takes dude. a while. Let's get a bag. Get, yeah, let's <laughs> blow it up each other's assholes. 100%. On, that would, that's on the Patreon. On Patreon. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Patreon, we're blowing coke up our ass. Numbers explode. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go take a shower because you've been moving all day. I got to wash you up. Yeah. No, dude, it's it's. Uh, do you think That's, there's ever, what? Do you think there's ever like a like a couple on the shores of like, you know, South Florida, mm-hmm. that were just like a normal couple, mm-hmm. never touch the stuff, come across a nice packaged brick, yes, and they're like, what do we do? Do we call the cops? And like, yeah, we should call the cops. And one's like, why don't we just? See but aren't what's you worried inside? about like something bad happening? Aren't I'm you not worried? done my You're fucking not, story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, did inter- I did interrupt you. It was rude. So the, when they cut it open, one of them takes a little a toot, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he starts going like, <laughs> holy shit, Deborah. <laughs> try it. Fucking try it. Debbie tries it. And then that's just their thing. They're now just they gone. have literally two years worth of cocaine. That for just, for their, in, their intake, their yeah. tolerance levels. Yeah. I bet. Odds are somebody took enough cocaine or found enough cocaine where they just was like, this is our life now. We yeah. Gotta, they changed the way they dressed, slowly lost their teeth and their family. <sighs> Definitely. I mean, I, I always wonder about that, right? It's like if you found a giant brick of cocaine, right? One like washed up on the shore, maybe two just like fucking. Yeah. Just bags do you think you'd be able to safely move that uh if you already live in that area 100 percent. yeah mm-hmm. yeah what it was fuck i mean I'm, I'm i'm down the beach do you think you get wrap caught? it in a towel what you yeah. wrap it in a towel and you act like it's a fucking yeah put it in the cooler. radio yeah <laughs> you know yeah throw it in a cooler whatever the fuck I they're, feel- they're they're sandwich bag taped back and forth with duct tape that's not getting you know there's nothing worse than getting liquid on a a dry coke. You don't, you don't think anyone's coming looking for you? No, what I'm saying like is if the they storms. Lose that, yeah. The storms. So, it, it, dude, this is thousands and right. thousands it's, of drug runs. The storm laundered the cocaine. Uh, well, when so they, they kick yeah. shit up yeah. that has just been floating or yeah. maybe buried. Yeah. Kicks it up. And then you just find it and nobody knows that you have it. And they all look the same. You know exactly what you're fucking getting. But what if you had like a massive amount? Do you think you'd be able to stretch it over a couple of years, just slowly sell it? Because you couldn't sell it all at once, right? Then I wouldn't sell, sell that it. Would, yeah, no? I would only tell my friends. And mm. you would just do it? You get like retirement taken care of. You get retarded. <laughs> you get fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, be bad. I'm sorry, Mike. What were you saying? Am um, I afraid? Yeah. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah. You're not doing it that much no, anymore. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. It's once every... Three, four and it months. is pretty safe as long as you let like a group of people do it before you. You also got to know a guy. You know a guy that's not. You know, I got. I, you got a guy that you know exactly where it's coming from. You know mm-hmm. what. You know what he's about. Mm-hmm. Like true drug dealers, it's not like heroin. Yeah, they don't want to kill a few people so all the other druggies are chasing this fucking dragon. Yeah, killing someone with cocaine, it's not a good look for the dealer. Right. They can come after you legally. Right. So. You know, if you're in transactions, text messaging, calling, and all that stuff, yeah. it comes back on him immediately. Yeah. He's fucked. Yeah. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. But everyone who's died had to get it probably from someone they know, right? Right. Did like they, a yeah. safe guy. There had no. to be like a dude no. that was no. like, you don't think so? Absolutely not. 
You think they're... It's people going like, yo, it's just some fucking derelict going like, yo, I got something. And it's like been stepped on seven times. He got it from somewhere else. Started handing it off. You know, it's like it's like asking somebody at Skankfest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> you want, want a hit of this? It's like, I'm good, dude. I, I don't, I, know, I, I don't what know what the fuck. Surprisingly enough, Skankfest, pretty safe drugs. Yeah, but you're only Nobody's doing, died. What Nobody are you doing? died at Skankfest. Acid mushrooms? Yeah. yeah. But it's like that shit can get laced with stuff too. We took a pill or something. I did take Molly that I was up for at least 15 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Do you take Molly at all? Do you get fucking. No. What do you do, Mike? Yeah. Are you. Are you fun? I hang out with my kid. Yeah. No, not drink? really. Um, do I? Yeah, I drink. Yeah. Yeah, I like drinking. But yeah. I don't what drink kind of drink? Much. Um, I, uh, I like whiskey. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Regular whiskey, bourbon, rye. Uh, bourbon, yeah, bourbon on the rocks. Bourbon and rye on the rocks. There yeah. we are. Yeah, I also I got I just organized my Tupperware at home. So <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no joke. I yeah. just bought a Tupperware set that I'm very it's, excited. It's about. not a, a set. A whole set. Yeah, that's great. I just bought a whole set. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. That's a that's gonna be I positive. I totally understand this. Yeah. No, because you want to save food, and you're like, oh, I have the thing. I don't have the fucking lid. Yeah. But and now then, it's like you got your left. You put the leftovers in the freezer. You yeah. got meals. Is you it know, one with the locks? The, is it like the yeah. lock one? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Well, I got some glass ones. I got and both. Then I got, I I got, got glass. Both, yeah. yeah. I got the the eight bowl glass mm-hmm. with the lids. Mm-hmm. I got the locks, and mm-hmm. I have the plastic throwaways. Yeah. Because somebody are like, you know, here's some cheesecake. Yeah. I don't want to see that Tupperware anymore, and it's it's easy to let yeah, go. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. You know, let like go, glad yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's very. That's. But that's, I have the rubber made with like the lid, where like you close the lid, and it, you hear like <laughs> where the air comes oh. out. Yeah. Nice. I used to have the button system. The you burp, the, yeah. the patented burp. Okay. Yeah, all the fucking all the wine, uh, the white women wine drunks that used to throw these fucking parties. Yeah. In like the nineties. Oh there yeah. One, there was one set where like you'd push a button and mm-hmm. it would remove all the oxygen from. You know, it was like air sealant. Yeah. And it was just like... That's an, that's an that investment in yourself, new Tupperware. 100%. Yeah. And it really makes a difference. Yeah. I walk differently. Yeah. I get a new ship in a Tupperware, yeah. baby. Yeah. I'm is it cruising. just for leftovers? I have a bunch of meals in my freezer. I have like, I have stock, but then I also have like soup and then like some yeah. sausage and potatoes. So like, I Are you just doing big stocks? Are you doing big chicken stocks? Yeah, I do like doing that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Do you yeah. have... I, this is my next big purchase. Yeah. For look at this. Pressure cooker. I, I No. I do need a pressure cooker. I have cooker. one. I don't use it that much. But it's good. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to offload this air fryer. Air fryer is useless. Oh, okay. That's for people. Don't it's useless. I don't know. You made yeah. wings with it one time. Yeah. It was fucking dope. They're great, but like you don't need to do that shit. I can. I can. I it can, seems like kind of a, a fad. It is a fad. Yeah. It's exactly a fad. It's like getting a Nordic. But it track. seems like really overhyped. It's a Nordic yeah. track. It's for, a Nordic track for yeah. a beefy woman <laughs> yeah. that's going to dry her clothes eventually. On. Yeah. She's not going to use it. Yeah. My mother-in-law gave us one, like the Emerald Lagasse air fryer. Yeah. And get it's the just fuck like. Out of here. But it's like I mean, we have an oven, you know. Yeah. It's the same thing. It takes a little longer. Or deep fry in a fucking deep fry. Yeah. But I'm going to get one of the big industrial uh, restaurant pots. Like, you know, the 18 inches. Oh, yeah. Big boys. I have Because I want to do big, I want to do like two chicken stocks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Freeze half of it. And then it. freeze it, yeah. I want a, a whole octopus. Yeah, yeah. Well, I cooked octopus. a whole, a whole octopus. octopus in there. I could call, cook a, I cooked an octopus in the, uh, the Le Creuset. You know, it's nice because you, you the, the regular kitchen pots, they don't make a ton of stock because it cooks down a yeah. lot. You'll, you think you start off with a lot and then once you're, yeah. once you're done. Yeah. You're using a whole bird. Yeah. A yeah. whole. A whole carcass. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're using, what, one stalk of celery. Sure. What, eight, ten carrots. Oh, uh, that much? Two bulbs of garlic. Yeah, yeah. I fucking, I over herb it. Okay. And then I got nice. cheesecloth. Yeah. And I wrap all the herbs. Yeah. Cook that off for, what, two hours? Yeah. Hour and a half. Yeah. And I'm glad your me. listeners are learning something. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I, give, do is, I don't give a fuck right now, Mike. Because good. Yeah, I don't give a fuck this either. Is no, this is I good. You're, actually, you're welcome. Yeah, I care about this a lot. Of, there's a lot of people that were like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be one asshole like, basketball? <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, guys. Yeah, Suck yeah. my dick. No, I'm actually yeah. really enjoying this conversation because everything else in my life has been so fucking weird. <laughs> Let's go. No, it's like, yeah, it's no, like, let's that's, go. That's nice. <laughs> Hold on a second. That really is nice. Like, yeah, Bro, like, yeah. I'm just like in charge of my kitchen at home. So like I make, you know, I make food. I'll roast a chicken and then I'll like cut it up and I'll take the bones and I'll make stock out of the bones. And then like with the left, you know, make chicken salad or something. If, if, Dude, you know, stock, out of the leftovers, homemade so. stock is so exceptionally better. Obviously. Oh, it's so much I mean, better. Yeah. Such a obvious comment. Yeah. But like, yeah, if you were to have I some chicken testing, broth, I use some store bought chicken broth the other day. Like it looks like cum. It is. It's like no, white. Coagulated. Yeah. They put fucking ingredients. And they're thicken it up and shit. But yeah. like even if I used to buy I buy the bouillon cubes, the uh-huh. um 
Um, yeah, the concentrated little yeah. square. You like yeah. those? The sodium levels. No. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's yeah, in yeah. a pinch. But if I'm doing a yeah, long yeah, yeah. stew, yeah. if I'm cooking for three, four hours, mm -hmm. toss them in there just to uh, incorporate some flavors. But I yeah. don't add salt to the meats if mm -hmm. I'm using those cubes. Okay. You have to balance out what you normally would salty, do. Yeah. I don't salt. I don't salt any of the proteins because mm -hmm. I'm like I know what this one tiny cube is yeah. going to do to the actual flavor once everything's reduced and all yeah, the moisture's yeah. re removed. Yeah, I've been doing bolognese and chili in the oven, and that's not you. Just, Whoa. You cook the put the oven at like 300. Lit it. Uh, like a gap on the half? lid. Yeah, yeah, half and half. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then you just like cook it for like three hours yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Michael, come do the look at this. Yeah, you What's should. Because I know you're a cook. Yeah. <clears throat> you do your pasta guy, right? You yeah. used to you used to push pasta out of the back of a Nissan sauce. Go yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sauce. What I say? Pasta. Oh. Pasta, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that'd be nice. I you think about selling about pasta, sauce, but it's dude. making but homemade pasta is so much work. Yeah, it's, nah, it's nice, it's really but it's not, a lot. Dude. No. If you're cooking for a lot of people to like run it through the machine, yeah, you know, and we like roll it, it out. We did it live. It only took about like 40 minutes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Did a Putinesco for how much? A Fettuccine. Yeah. Uh, what, do you have a cooking show or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost insulted you haven't asked me to yeah, come on. I know. We haven't done it in a while. It's been, October's been, been fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's been, it's been. October's been a crazy yeah, month. Yeah, We're yeah. going to go, we're November, go I think, is also going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. It's off to, it's going to be off to a crazy start. I know that. Well, yeah. This week, we're going to the Phillies first mm -hmm. World yeah. Series game. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Nice. Then we're going to go to Indiana. Who are they playing? Huh? The Astros. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're cheating. Cunts, asterisks. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's a no-no. The whole country's rooting for Philly. Yeah, for the good. first time ever. Yeah, that's how hated these motherfuckers are. Yeah, they did shit like what this. What about when they beat the Patriots though? Huh? When the, when they beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl a few years ago? Oh, the Eagles. The, the Eagles. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's Everybody probably rooting. that's close. But there's yeah. so many Patriots are like the Cowboys. Yeah, where like yeah, yeah. you know you'll get like fucking Swedes and Mexicans mm -hmm. wearing fucking Patriots gear because they're a winning team. Right. You yeah, know? they've gotten too good. They've been too good for too long. Now it's there's too much. Yeah. yeah. They need to. They need a 911. Yeah. <laughs> they need Boston to needs a 911. <laughs> Boston needs a 911. Yeah. The bombing wasn't enough because they're still no. cocky about shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you got enough yeah. fucking championship banners. You do need a good terrorist <clears throat> attack to humble uh -huh. your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you really do, dude. Well, then Philly's kind of overdue for one. Yeah. yeah. An attack? Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. We haven't had a good one. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't think terrorists I mean, even know a, about. I don't think they even know no, about Philadelphia. It's such a terrible town. Yeah. They don't want to come through. Yeah. yeah. It's not true. It's a great town. Great restaurants. Yeah, it is a great town. Yeah, yeah. Michelin star chefs. <laughs> yeah. Incredible bars. They'd be so yeah. disappointed with the result. Like, if we got hit with no, terrorists, it wouldn't mean as much. No offense, but yeah, it just wouldn't mean as much. Yeah, the whole country yeah. would be like, man. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boston is the same thing as Philly, you fucks. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. No, that's yeah, why people it's do literally the same thing. It is thing. the same yeah. thing, but McKeever said more... Boston is Philadelphia spelled differently. Yeah, it was the most brilliant way to say it's true. It's the same exact influx of immigrants. It's the same pods of Italians. What about the Irish? The, co the colleges, yeah. though, maybe people think it. But Philly's maybe a huge college Boston. town too. People don't know that. Philly, yeah. I think. What? How is do you big... not know that? What people? A lot of people Drexel, don't. Drexel, Penn, LaSalle, St. Joe's, Temple, Temple. Suck my dick. Yeah, you got. That's all in like five mile radius. Jefferson, you got like yeah, yeah. That's a hospital. It's a university. I know, but nobody knows <laughs> There's a hospital inside the oh, university. Baby, I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, apparently apparently Philly's a bigger college town than Boston. Hmm. Yeah, Boston. There's more, there's more, college, more college students, students. in Philly, yeah, yeah, than in Boston. Talk. I, gotta I guess it's because of, like, yeah, Harvard or whatever. Yeah, there's more prestigious schools there for yeah. sure. What would Boston's 9-11 be? Yeah, they don't have, they need to build a building big enough. It would be enough. like every Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Blown up Boston at the same up. time. Yeah. yeah. Boston's 9 11 would just be. Starbucks moves in, <laughs> takes yeah. over. A million black guys moving into all their good bars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the most racist town I've ever met in my life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Boston? Yeah. yeah. You've been to Boston? Jersey's pretty racist. Jersey's racist, but it's like it's cute racism. It's like mm -hmm. it's cartoonish racism that you see on like television yeah, yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah. Because of like Archie Bunker kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's because right. of Italians. Right. Italians ruin. We just don't. We don't really feel it. We no, just, you don't. We you just think it. we because it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Because it's fun, <clears throat> and our and our dads do it. Yeah, of course. We don't really feel that way. No. Yeah. No. We're too similar to black people. The word. Like, yeah. Hate them. <laughs> Big dick. Yeah. Big dick. Yeah. Yeah. Great with plants. Yeah. Cheating on our wives. Display. <laughs> <clears throat> Mike, this is display, buddy. Mm. You know what this is? No. It's wall art. 
Okay. Where, where you, it's just metal, mm-hmm. and you don't fuck up you, you, the drywall. You yeah. know, you can cover up all the the, the car keys being thrown, mm-hmm. the fist going through the wall when the Phillies lose. Mm-hmm. Yep. And all you gotta do is put a little sticker on the wall. That's cool. Attach this. Yeah. And then we got sent these. Uh, I would I would stare at something like that. Isn't I might, this great? Yeah, I would just come. Look, I would just look be, over there. We got the butcher one mm-hmm. with, for beef. And that's like how pig. to cook it. Yeah. Yeah. This is Smoke. pig. This is the type of woman that would you'd show up to move her couch and she'd suck you off. Mm-hmm. That's her. Mm-hmm. That is her. something I want to do at some point is like watch a butcher take apart a pig in person. A pig in person. Yeah, yeah. And just like show all the cuts and everything. Jesus. Same with like a There's cow. There's YouTube videos. Like, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, but You've I watching like Dahmer? Person, what? You've been watching Dahmer a lot? No, I just like, I don't know. I'm interested. <laughs> it is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm busting It's balls. so crazy. Have you, ever, have you ever gone to like a pig roast? No. Yes. Would you want to see him do it to a dog? Uh, no. No. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> so under- why a pig and not a dog? Uh, <laughs> because it's interesting. It's mostly about like there's a if you ever been to a pig roast, they're like it starts off as a pig and you're like this is wrong. Yeah, that we're doing this. Right, this is not okay. Because you see it before it gets cooked. Yeah, yeah, and then then it starts getting cut up, and you start like recognizing the things from the grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, oh, that like, looks oh, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was my my daughter's christening. You know? <laughs> it was weird because I I felt super conflicted lately about like eating meat and stuff because uh. You know, I don't know. I just, I just like feel bad about it. Think about like I like my dog a lot. So yeah. Yeah. those are animals too. That's yeah. what they say. But they then, say it takes something you know extravagant. You yeah. Know, to like have an experience like that, you have to see like a dolphin get murdered in birth, and you're like, I'm not gonna eat yeah. fish anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But then I went to a petting <laughs> zoo, and I was like, I don't give a fuck about any of these animals. Yeah. 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 The, well, petting zoo is like. I don't. Know, they just pet- didn't do it for. Like, I like. I wasn't like. Oh, I feel bad for them. Well, they're spoiled. Uh-huh. Petting zoo. It's. A, it's <laughs> They're so spoiled. Yeah. This is like a select like group I didn't of, like a bunch of, of fucking animals, rich really. kids. They are. Yeah. They're the fucking, uh, it's yeah. a bunch of goats going, ah. They're just the UCB like, kids of uh, 100%. animals. Yeah. They're rich kids with no talent mm-hmm. and they're rich just getting no fed talent, yeah. all day long without, yeah. without having to do anything. And do anything, yeah. 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 So these fucking weird fish-eyed goats are just <laughs> jumping on top of an old car mm-hmm. and you feed them this, this shitty corn that makes your hands smell like shit for yeah. like a week and yeah. a half. And they're like, more, please. Yeah, and they yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. And there's always so the is, one. It is like improv kids. Mm-hmm. The one the one bull that's always pissed that you're walking around. I yeah. love the, I love the, I love like the <laughs> very obvious like fucking social dynamics of like a, a pen full of goats and shit, uh-huh. you know, because there's the one male who thinks he's the fucking, he genuinely thinks he's the best dude in town yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and just you walking over to him pisses him off yeah. and it's like, dude, I could kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you hit him with a belt. You don't even recognize mm-hmm. that you're in a pen. Yeah. Yeah. But I have been watching these, I follow, watch, I uh, follow a lot of, uh, it's also like, I'm not trying to fuck your women. Well, they yeah. don't know that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're trying to Listen, logically buddy, yeah. speak to a fucking Yeah, would you just cow. chill? I'm yeah, not trying yeah. to steal Relax. your... Relax. I'm yeah. not going to touch her. I'm not trying yeah. to interfere with your harem of goats. Well, he saw the farmer <laughs> fuck his wife. And he yeah. <laughs> That's probably what happened. Yeah, yeah. He's like, hold on. There's another one. That yeah. would be funny. It's like anytime you walk onto a farm and you see like the male is very defensive about the women, it's because mm-hmm. the, far- Dude, you the see farmer a fucking, fucked the farmer. You see a hairy, a hairy cow... Nestle into like its owner, just wanting to be petted. Like it's yeah. like, it's it's so adorable that yeah. it does change. I think if I took a week on a farm, yeah, and got to know these people that raised it just for milk, and then when the time comes, it's not just for you know yeah, industrial. Yeah. I guess slaughter. It's, like a, it's like a different relationship. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. That, there's a girl that went fucking viral for um, the emu. Yeah, the emu. Yeah, yeah. This, she's adorable. She's yeah. so cute, and like, she loves like so many different variants of of animals, mm-hmm. yeah, and species of animals. It's like, you watch her interact, and they all have personalities. So this yeah. emu like reacts to her like in a loving way. It's yeah. not just a fucking weird bird. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, oh shit. If you chickens too, chickens are kind of people. Yeah. That have connections, and they all live that. in the same fucking house. Yeah. So then the squirrel's just like chasing around a fucking billy goat. Yeah. And the billy goat just like runs into a dog. Mm-hmm. The dog's like on the back of a cow and a monkey's like, Row! it's like, dude, <laughs> these guys all love each other and they yeah. can be together. Yeah. Instead, we're like, <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Throw that on a fucking grill. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You th- you, you, I got to get this out. All right. 
You want me to read it? No. Yeah. All right. You <laughs> read it. You read Nye Hole. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. This is the 9-11 of comedy. Uh, looking for something different to cover up that hole in your wall? Displayed as the metal poster you want in every that. room. Do the okay. Uh, it only takes 20 seconds to hang a display. Uh, because it's it's metal. So you just put a magnet on the wall and you stick it to it. So you don't have to put little tacks in and shit like right. that. It's but very how easy. How does the magnet get on the wall? Uh, you just peel it off and stick it. Yeah. So then the There's magnet's a... fucking up the drywall. Yeah. The, well, no, you can take the sticker you off. You can take the sticker yeah. off. Yeah. All right. Checks out. I'll show you. All right. Yeah, it, you might be. You might be right. You might have to do a little paint. These were ordered yeah. for us spe specifically. This click, show. click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displays and save up to twenty nine percent. Get twenty five percent off when you buy one or two, uh, and twenty nine percent off when you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click or link. Uh, click the link or use code Stuff Island when you visit Displate dot com. That is Displate dot com Stuff Island, uh, or click the link. In our show notes, I you think know you can cool? also upload your own art. You know, it'd be cool if sheath underwear had like an alarm on it that reminded you you were wearing the sheath underwear. So they go, Remember, remember, you don't need to pull your whole balls out <laughs> when you take a piss later. And it just goes off at random. Did, times you, know anybody, the did day. you know anybody that like when you're on the pants bus. all the way down when they piss? Um, yeah, I remember like in kindergarten, I saw a kid's ass because he was like. I walked in in on in the bathroom, yeah, and I was cause, and he his pants pulled all the way down, and I didn't, I was so scared of seeing his ass again that I would just piss myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> that's crazy. You thought you were doing the wrong thing by seeing his bare ass. Yeah, I like didn't ever want to see his ass again. Yeah, so I would just piss myself. Why were you so traumatized by a little boy's butt? I don't know. I just, it was just awkward. You know? Oh, there's another one. Better help. Another sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do right. you talk to somebody? No. No. I would like to, I guess. Yeah, I think you should after that comment. You think? So instead of going to the bathroom and I'm seeing fucking pants. this dude's this dude's hiney, yeah. you just wet your pants. Yeah. And what what would happen after you wet your pants? You go home? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're going, oh, all I got to do oh, is no, piss no, my no. pants. I get back home. No, I would, I would finish the day. Really? Yeah, I would wear like little gray sweatpants and I would just see like piss like drip down my my leg oh would you try God. to like spill a drink to cover it up or no. anything like that no, no. would no, it, it be like old wax on the like a bark of a tree where like the old piss stains or did your, your parents like take care of your pants uh i don't know i don't think they knew i was pissing my pants they fucking my knew, brother Mike. no because my brother was diagnosed with autism around that time oh so i think my my mom was just totally you can like, always just go out. i was just pissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're yeah, not yeah. my pants yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's it's like, my mom's like, Mom, I'm pissing my pants every day. It's like, don't even worry about yeah. it. <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That reminds me of that, uh, one of my favorite Gilbert Godfrey jokes. <laughs> He's like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to butcher this, but the idea was <clears throat> there's this guy at the bar and he's drunk as fuck. And he's like, oh my God, my wife's going to fucking kill me. I threw up all over my shirt. I love that. I love this joke. Do you know this joke? Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. my favorite joke. Ah, yeah. He's like, that's Tell all me. right. And he goes like, he's going nuts. And he's like, I, all you got to do is say someone threw up on you, put a $20 bill in your pocket, and just tell them, look, they're paying for my dry cleaning. And then <laughs> when you go home, your wife will understand. And yeah. then he gets home, tells his wife somebody threw up on him. Am I correct so far? Yeah. 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 Goes home, tells somebody he threw up all over his shirt. And look, he gave me $20 to get it dry cleaned. And he goes, and the wife goes, well, there's there's $50 in here. And he goes, he also shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so fucking good. I worked with Gilbert like three weeks. Uh, obviously, like like different years, but... Dude, when I first saw him do all his... So he would come out and he would sh bomb for like 20 minutes trying to do like new shit. And he goes, and now for my old classics. And then destroy. Really? I mean like... Did he write those jokes though? Or they're, they're street yeah, jokes? Yeah, they're street jokes, but he wrote them all. He did? Yeah, they're from like the 70s. He wrote, he wrote he them? He wrote them all. I'm almost certain of this. Really? I guess we'll find out in the comments from all these fucking yeah. basketball fans. Yeah. You know, the guys that know everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he did. I guess it doesn't matter because he tells them so well. I mean, it would matter because no one would respect him. I feel you like can't it's just hard. have it's a fucking... It's hard to write a street joke, though. Where do they even That's come from? That's the point. 
Yeah, but so you're saying Gilbert Godfrey wrote them all? I don't. I don't think there, so. There's no way he didn't. I do. I would be like. I think finding the origins of street jokes is like nearly impossible. impossible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But because they all, change, they're like they're fucking. There's no way he didn't. There's no way. Every comic book, like, what are you fucking pulling up? Old street jokes on the internet, and yeah. then like just doing this Jewy thing. <clears throat> There's guys, yeah, work. but he came up in a different time where I think you could probably do that. I don't know. No, the eighties yeah, like were Borscht fucking belty kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like the eighties, the... everybody was stealing no, jokes from everybody uh, in the eighties. You'd have those hacks in like fucking comedy cabarets in Jersey. You wouldn't. Yeah. You, this dude was headlining every fucking club, every major club. Yeah, selling out every show. Like this dude was like the man. But I think you can like tell street jokes. But so then, did he write that uh, the the aristocrats joke? I dude, I don't know. Because I, I think you can. I tell can't him back in a myself that, in this corner. I have no yeah. idea. Let's Google it. I can't imagine him not writing his own fucking joke. Dude, I think there's. I also think there's some jokes that genuinely like kind of don't have an author. You know what I mean? Yeah. They like the some version of them started. They like evolve the same way like people do. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Where yeah. it's just like. Or yeah, any it's like a any organism. In no bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the long face? Right. That kind of shit. You never you, know. Who you get some it. like basic structure, but then someone like someone can change it either intentionally or unten- unintentionally. They yeah. like they change the joke because they're just saying it wrong. Yeah, I change that joke. But it actually is funnier. You yeah. know what I mean? I and then that, that joke. happens like a million times through over the course of a hundred years. It's yeah. like this is a joke that I don't know. It's like you don't even know where it came from or who originally told it. Two Jews walk into a bar. They buy it. Yeah. It's a great bit. I just made it up. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that one before. Uh, probably out of my mouth. <laughs> probably. But it's that easy to take a, a famous joke. Yeah. And then just go, oh, how can I just repurpose modify it? You're right. I totally agree with you. Yeah. But his jokes are very elaborate. The one with the no legs, no arms woman on the beach. No, I don't <clears> think I've ever heard it. It's this woman on the beach with no arms, no legs, and she's begging to for anyone that passes. Like, please... I've I've never been kissed. Will you please kiss me? And the guy's like, No, no, no. I don't want to kiss you. And then somebody walks by. He's like, Please, please. Will you just? I've never been fucked. And he's like, Fine. And he reaches in, picks her torso up, tosses her in the ocean. He's like, Now you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's just like that's like a street jug. That's been I know, Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. But, what right. he, but you got to hear it. the way he tells I the way he knows. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, but there's no way. There's no way he's just ripping this shit off of a fucking a book in a library in fucking New Hampshire. I can see. I can see him doing that. I feel like there's a bunch of '80s comics. Who but you like never hear anybody just, say. You never hear anybody say, "Oh, Gilbert Godfrey's such an amazing joke writer." They why, did why for years because he's fucking ninety, and he hasn't been on stage. But he, to me, he was always more of a performer than a. Yeah, there was well, a I lot of those really guys, like Bobcat anything. Goldthwait and like yeah. even Howie yeah, Mandel's yeah, 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 stage. Yeah, yeah. I just, like more of a performer than a writer. Yeah, yeah 100%. Just like, so. We'll find out. Yeah. We'll you find out. Yeah. You want to put money on it? Yeah. I'll bet you 100, 100 bucks on it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll okay. bet you 100 bucks. Yeah. 100 bucks. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a strong fucking handshake. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, do you feel like you got man, like like adult, like... Like dad strength? Are you getting the? Like, yeah, he's definitely got that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but I'm also getting I think he like. Had it. I'm getting weaker though. Your fucking also. arms are jacked. Thanks. You think you like? You'll be yeah, able. Yeah, yours to... are good too. We're both <laughs> very jacked. Damn, dude. <laughs> what kind of hair are you working with? Hair? Yeah, up top. Uh, looks no, robust. No, 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 no. Ch- chest top. Oh, all right. We Damn. Got a chest here. Yeah. That's pretty good. <sighs> it's gray. It's going gray. My, I'm full gray it on looks, my chest now. Yeah, it's it's a good Not look. Not full, but yeah, I'm gray and quick. Yeah. When did you get chest hair? Um, Jesus, thirteen. Probably like fifteen. Oh, really? Yeah. That's no, not I think true. It was probably like seventeen, me, yeah. eighteen. Yeah, probably seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. Do you not have chest hair? I do now, but I I feel like it didn't come in until I was like well, in my twenties, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. People, you people develop later <laughs> in life. It wasn't. It wasn't until I found my pot of gold that. <laughs> the chest Dude. hair was able to grow and I was could finally mature. We don't have our our editor or podcast producer here. What are we at? Oh. We're good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we got a few minutes. Phone. Can I grab my yeah, phone charger? Yeah, yeah. Let well, you got five minutes. We got to finish it. Yeah, you can grab whatever you want, Mike. Yeah, grab a phone well, no, charger. All right, we'll do the thing. <laughs> <We'll do> <laughs> I just want to have a charge thing? phone because it's two hours to get home from my from, you know, where I live in Brooklyn. It's not two hours, but it's I got to take like forty-five four, minutes. I got to take like four trains Why'd to you get take home. A, oh, you took trains? Yeah. I'll buy uh, you an Uber home. Nah, come on. Yeah. It's yeah. too expensive, and it's the traffic's like 45 too bad. Hours. Yeah, but the traffic's so bad that like I think I'd rather just take the train. What time is it right now? It's uh, 
six thirteen. You'd rather take four trains? Are you out of your I fucking guess I mind? I would take an Uber if you if you. I'll buy you an Uber. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Relax. But then you're gonna have to pay me when you find out Gilbert Godfrey to write his own jokes. <laughs> well, you know, you you'll just split the difference. Okay. Yeah, you'll give me fifty plus one. Okay. You're out of your mind thinking he didn't fucking write these jokes. That's like Dice Clay. I don't know. Dice Clay's jokes are fucking street jokes. You think he wrote those though? Yes. It's just I don't know. I just feel like the '80s, like everybody was just kind of there was no, like. Like going on the internet and being like, "This guy steals." I feel like it was just kind of yeah, like every, like Robin Williams stole his like his whole act. True. Yeah. Everybody was just stealing f- f- jokes from each other. Yeah. And probably raping because there was yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a good it's point. Boomer. Boomers don't yeah. have any like sense of honor. Or he also wasn't. <laughs> he also wasn't the first person to hang himself, so he got that from somebody too. Yeah. Gilbert Gottfried think- hung himself. Robin Williams. Yeah. You think he's jerking oh, off? Who was the first per- who did he get it from? <laughs> yeah. Who was the first person to hang himself? Yeah, what a bummer. No one got to yeah. <laughs> Imagine if someone right before right before the lights went out, if someone walked in and was like, Oh, not again. I'm guessing <laughs> I would guess. You're hacking pro- this bit too? <laughs> <laughs> it was probably actually Chris Cornell did it way better. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dead? I yeah, think I think so. he hung yeah. himself. Chris Cornell right? hung himself? Yeah. yeah, in a hotel. Is that room. the uh, singer of um Soundgarden? Soundgarden. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. So there's this whole, it's not even a conspiracy. There's a thing about when you, when you see um, news stories of hangings and suicides, if there's no note and no logical reasoning behind the suicide, yeah. it's oftentimes the, the family hiding their masturbation oh. and what they're actually doing and they actually just die. So they'll say like, yeah, he killed himself. Right. I don't know. If I hang myself, I'm going to be like, I am not masturbating. (laughs) I'm really (laughs) hanging myself. (laughs) No, I'm not some fucking pervert. Search the whole house. There's no lotion. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You will find no loads in my bedroom. I'm really... Look look through my internet This is Deborah's fault. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. here's Polaroids of me jerking off prior to killing myself. (laughs) Dude, yeah, no, it's it's a thing. I don't know, man. I don't think I like. Would you be able to write a note? Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I if I would. if I commit suicide, I have like four or five people that I'm gonna blame for it. Well, kill them. Here's no, the best part about suicide. No, but they get to live with the, you know, the, guilt. the shame, the guilt. Yeah, you're you're putting a lot of have you self had worth on yourself. Uh huh. The odds are they're gonna be like, yeah, he was a maniac. Mm-hmm. But see, if I wrote a note, it's my last note. If somebody said, yeah, if somebody it's said Chris O'Connor killed look. himself because Mike Racine disrespected him, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Your last note good. doesn't have to cut. be like a Gilbert Godfrey joke you know what i mean but like you it, want it to be good if it, I mean. if you felt like it was good enough to be your last note ever yeah you wouldn't you be a little bit proud of yourself yeah less is more dude proud enough that you wouldn't go through with killing imagine yourself? having a buddy you could send your suicide note to and go like yo can you edit this Proof real quick? Yeah. yeah yeah let me know if if it's we'll just find like a goth girl that works on Hot Topic. He's not, he doesn't, <laughs> he's a proofread your suicide. Yeah, yeah, note. yeah. The last blockbuster. <laughs> Can you read my suicide? Right, welcome note? to Hot Dude, Topic. How much would I help you? <laughs> yeah. So, all right. I, yeah, so I don't know. Who, I don't know who else to ask for this, but <laughs> I think about killing myself. Yeah. I don't want anyone alerting my family. <laughs> you give us a read. Oh, God. Yeah. And they don't edit it for content. They're yeah. just looking at like punctuation. Yeah. She just They're pushes. Like, her like, no, it's like really good. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> no notes. Yeah. This is a weird yeah. place for a comma. This is a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a bit of a run on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, actually, it's just a tear. I'm sorry. Yeah. She's 14 and she's writes better than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they're worried someone's going to get bored halfway through and be like, I don't know. It's just, yeah. <laughs> doesn't hit the same. Yeah. 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 You want to open strong. You need yeah. Or you yeah. find like a Filipino girl on, on like a uh, Fiverr to do it for like $10 an hour. <laughs> That would be a suicide note. We should having, do that. Having Gilbert Godfrey do a cameo of your suicide note. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's inception. Dude. Yeah. Or Just I would have we I would not have knowing Giuliani. he's reading your suicide note. I would have Giuliani Goodbye. do the cameo to my parents for the suicide notes. So like they're <laughs> sad that I'm dead, but they're happy yeah. that they got a yeah. cameo from Giuliani. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole point. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God, that would be so. Can you do that? There's got to be one. Yeah. They person. wouldn't even know. I'm sure he would. Yeah. It'd be funny to write it so that they didn't really realize what they were reading until yeah. like halfway through. Yeah. If mm-hmm. just the footage of that alone, having them like Dude. stop and yeah. just start like just him be like genie papa. <laughs> I want to tell you that your son used to love you. you know, like, <laughs> he's like working the mic like a weird goofball. I didn't grow up to be the man I thought I could be. <laughs> <laughs> I had intentions to give you well. Uh, all right, let's go to the page. Uh-